Today I'm going to show you how to get this earthy brown look in Adobe Lightroom right after the intro. What's going on YouTube? My name is Mo. And if you don't want to miss on such videos on tutorials, please make sure to subscribe, leave a comment, like this video, and let's dive right into it. Now I have this photo of my dad and my kids. Now what I'm going to do at the beginning is um, do the basic adjustments in, in Lightroom. Of course, we're going to do it in Lightroom, obviously. Um, but what I wanted to say is that most of these adjustments would vary from one camera to another or one picture to another. So make sure that you adjust it the way you see it fit for your photo. Okay, first thing first, I'm going to warm up the shot, usually maybe just around five, eight, so four after just a little bit, not too much. I like the exposure so far. I might want to decrease the highlights just a tad. So this is if we brought it all the way down. So somewhere around here would be fine. And there aren't really much of shadows, but why not? Let's see. I don't want it to look very HDR-ish. I hate that look. So somewhere around here. That's good. Now you can increase texture and um, or increase the, the texture. I just don't want to increase that. I want to have a bit of a dreamy look. So I'm going to drop the texture down. Now for the clarity, maybe let's bump that up. A bit of contrast would be nice. Great. I'll drop the saturation. And I'm going to increase the vibrance. Let's say around 37 and let's bring that slider back. Good. Okay, so let's have a look at the before with the basic adjustments. This is before, this is the after, before, this is the after. Now this kind of help us move towards the look we we're aiming for. All right, let's head out to the HSL and I'm going to play with the hue saturation luminance to get that look, the brown earthy look. Okay, All right, let's start with the red and somewhere around, I forgot, yeah, maybe around here is good. The orange will be around there, nothing really crazy. I'll start shifting the yellows because we have a lot of yellows and we'll do somewhere around let's, let's just put it around here for now same thing with the greens so we want to shift the colors to brown I mean if we move it to the other side it will be green here it's kind of yellowish brownish look we're, we're getting there right now we're kind of getting the look that we really want. I'll keep it here around. That's good. Now, I'll skip the aqua because we don't have that color, but I'm going to decrease the blues in the photo just to make the yellow and the brown pop more. All right, let's move and play with the saturation. And um, for these, I'm going for the, for the reds, the yellows, and the orange, something that I want to increase in terms of saturation is very selective remember we've decreased the saturation at the beginning and we can return these at values and adjust accordingly so we'll go with something very subtle nothing crazy I think <laughs> it depends from one taste to another some might find it like over some might not so it really depends on what kind of look that you're trying to get. Now for the greens, let's drop this down just a bit. I don't want to make it, well, actually I don't mind that look. Let's bring it down. Let's see the way to experiment. Bring the aqua and the blues down. Good. And maybe increase the purple. That's where the, I think, the color of the lips is. 
and yeah, let's move to luminance and uh, let's play around with the values here. Bring this down a little. Okay, this is this is totally controlling the skin luminance. So we want to brighten that up just a bit, not too much. Let's give it a 20 for now. We can adjust it later on if we want to. Let's look at the yellows. If I wouldn't mind dropping the yellows, it just brings more separation from the subject and the background. So let's drop that. I was thinking about the green. Of course, we would want to bring it down a bit. And of course, same way with these. Again, it really depends on the photos that you have. So I'm ensure that it doesn't really affect the subject as much as the background. In my case, it's the background. Um, now you can add uh, a bit of color grading if you feel like adding, but I'm going to skip this right now. All right, let's move to the sharpening. The sharpening it looks okay. I usually bump this one up and I'll start masking. Now, if you hold Option key on your keyboard and you drag the slider, you would see where things would get sharpened. The whites will be sharpened and the blacks will be ignored. So hold the Option key and move the slider around and uh, somewhere around here usually is good for me. Boom. Done. I'll leave the rest as it is. I should have done this at the beginning. Uh, it really changes a lot of the settings, but yeah, we can we can return back to the vignette over here and just apply this just just a small amount or really don't like I don't like doing this this is so obvious obviously just add it very subtly so it doesn't overwhelm the subject will attract the eyes depending on how you frame it you just want to aid that process by adding vignettes by darkening certain subjects in the background and uh, lightening the things in the foreground it's just you know the way the eyes and the brain works. I'll add just a bit of grain, nothing crazy. You can do it this way. I'll just add it just a little, just to give that nice vintage look. All right, that's great. And now we head to the calibration panel in which we calibrate colors. Now, if you start moving the reds, you'll get different tones so really if you don't like the skins if they are too yellow you can move it to the left make it a bit more red I'm just going to drop this to minus four I don't know about the saturation let's do eight for now and I can do the same here we want more of a brownish yellowish look so I'm going to drop the slider down look at their skin though it, it's getting affected. It's becoming yellow. Let's try and and fix this. Uh, put it here. Make it more red. Make the skins more red. Compensate for what we're doing down. Yeah, that should be fine. And of course, we have the blue channel. Okay, now they're becoming too red. So I'll go back to the red primary and fix that there. And let's drop this. Good. All right, so let's have a look at the before. This is the before. And this is the after. This is a very simple way playing with the temperature, the colors, the HSL, the primary, the calibration to get that look. Oh yeah, I remember I ended the video too early. Anyway, this is more from the future. Um, what I'm going to do, what people usually do is 
you know, to, to just compensate or add to the look, it would be nice to lift up the blacks just a bit, not too much, nothing too crazy. So something around there would just do. And then you can control, of course, how much faded the look you're aiming for. I don't want it to be too faded. I don't want it to, to be too obvious. Somewhere around this would be fine. Before, after, before, after. Now, if you have any question, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.